Even if you aren't the most scientifically minded person, one thing you surely know is that the Earth is round. One man recently made headlines for bringing a level on a plane in order to attempt to show that the world is flat. Of course, this doesn't actually prove anything, but it did make us think, what would the Earth be like if it was flat? Let's find out. To make sure you stay up to date with The Hub, make sure you join our notification squad and press that subscribe button if you haven't already. Gravity. One common criticism of people who claim the Earth is flat is that if that were the case, surely people would end up falling off the edge at some point. If some hapless person did manage to fall off the Earth and into outer space, that sure would prove the Earth is flat. Well, even if the Earth was flat, this couldn't happen because of gravity. That's right, gravity would protect you from accidentally wandering off the edge of Earth. On a flat planet, people in the middle of the planet would experience gravity pretty much the same as we do now. However, the more you tried to go to the outer edges, the more it would feel as if you were traversing a steep hill. Gravity likes to pull everything straight down to the center of its mass, and if the Earth was round, that would be the middle of the planet. If you made it near the edge, gravity would be pulling you towards that central point, making your body tilt towards the center. The fact that this absolutely does not happen, and we're able to stand straight and be pulled downward to an equal extent, proves that the Earth is indeed spherical. Ice Wall no, this wall isn't meant to keep the White Walkers away from invading us. According to the Flat Earth Society, there is a giant ice wall on the outer edge of the Earth, holding the oceans back from flowing off the edge of the planet. Although the size of the ice wall would vary based on different Flat Earth beliefs, yes, even they don't agree on all the details about how a Flat Earth would work, it's generally agreed that the wall is at least about 150 feet above sea level. Others argue that it would be much larger than that. This massive wall of ice would mark the outer edge of the Earth, and what lies beyond it we could only speculate about. Because the ice wall is a naturally formed structure, it would appear to be an enormous mountain and be irregular in size, shape, and appearance. In fact, it would appear much like Antarctica, as it's said that Antarctica is actually the outermost edge of the ice wall. So if the Earth was flat and you kept powering through the bitter Antarctic cold, you'd eventually reach an impenetrable wall of pure ice. Undoubtedly, if we knew for sure that the Earth was flat, there would be frequent expeditions sent to explore the mysterious ice wall and learn more about it. Horizon If the Earth was flat, there would still be a horizon, and it surprisingly wouldn't look that different than the one we're used to looking at. After all, when we look at the sun setting on the horizon now, we can't really see the curvature on the edge of Earth. But that doesn't mean that the Earth is flat, just that it's incredibly large. In fact, if the Earth were unimaginably large, the horizon would look the same as it would if the Earth was flat. When we look at it from sea level, the horizon looks flat. However, if you're flying in an airplane over 35,000 feet and have a wide, cloud-free view of the horizon, you can detect the slight curvature of the Earth. If you want to check this out with your feet on the ground, you can head to the docks. Take note of some approaching ships, and you'll see that they don't simply appear out of the horizon, as they would if the planet was flat. Instead, you'll see ships appearing as if they're emerging from the waves, when in fact we know they're traversing the curved surface of the Earth. So if you see a ship coming straight at you without gradually rising up, you're either standing on a flat Earth or you're watching Pirates of the Caribbean. Time Zones There are 24 time zones on Earth. We've come up with this method because the sun can only illuminate one side of our spherical Earth at a time, while the other side is left dark. Because of the Earth's rotation, if we only had one single time zone, noon would be in the middle of the day for some places, while it would be in the middle of the night or in the morning for others. This would get really confusing really fast. Each of the 24 time zones is 15 degrees of longitude wide. The distance between the time zones is greatest at the equator and zero at the poles due to the curvature of the Earth. If the Earth was not round and didn't rotate on its axis, then the sun would be more of a spotlight shining down onto the entire Earth at the same time. This means that if your area was shrouded in darkness, you would still be able to see the sunlight shining down on the horizon. In fact, people who believe the Earth is flat believe that the sun slowly moves in circles around the North Pole, acting like a spotlight scanning the Earth. Shadows Shadows are something that would look very different if the Earth was flat, and this is easy to see right in your own backyard. Because the sun is so far away from our planet, its incoming rays can be considered to arrive parallel to one another. If you put two identical sticks or poles into the ground on any two spots on Earth, they'll produce shadows of different lengths based on how the light is hitting them. The curvature of the Earth's surface means that the sunlight will hit each stick differently if they're a sufficient distance apart. In fact, early astronomers used this method to estimate the circumference of the Earth as early as 250 BC. However, if the Earth was flat, 
any two sticks would produce the same shadow length no matter how far apart you set them. Without the curved surface of the planet, the sunlight would hit each identical object in the exact same way regardless of distance. If you look at a sundial, you'll see that the shadow it produces changes length depending on the time of the day. If the Earth was flat, the shadowy arm of this clock would remain at a consistent length. The Moon Humans know our moon pretty well and have even visited it on several occasions. The moon is an important signifier that the Earth is in fact round. In ancient Greece, astronomers took notice of the phases of the moon and used this to help determine that we are looking at it from a round planet. When a full moon appears in the sky, the moon then moves slowly through the shadow of Earth. This is known as a lunar eclipse. When you take a look at the shadow, you'll see that as it is seen crossing the face of the moon, it's curved. This is because it's the shadow of our spherical planet. However, if the Earth was flat, then the shadow of the moon would be straight. We would also be able to see different sides of the moon depending on where we stood on the planet. Someone standing in Quebec, Canada would see the front of a nearly full moon, while people in Chile would see the dark backside of the same moon. On our round Earth, we all see the same side of the moon, with minor changes due to the minute changes in our viewing angles. Space travel. To hear a member of the Flat Earth Society tell it, NASA and other space agencies are all part of a massive spherical Earth conspiracy. They send back fake or altered photos to promote their round Earth agenda. What is the purpose of the round Earth agenda that they're willing to go to great lengths to advance? Well, some claims it's to make themselves seem more scientifically advanced than we really are. The implications of this are pretty ludicrous. They claim that the photos of Earth taken from space clearly show that the Earth is shaped like a giant disk, which, if there was only one photo of the Earth taken from the moon, could maybe be true. But we have many different photos from all different angles. However, if the Earth truly was flat, our photos taken from space would look very different. Depending on the angle, you'd be able to see that the planet is in fact shaped like a disk. It would also be a lot easier to land on the moon, since flat Earth people believe that it's only about 3,000 miles overhead. If it was located that close, it would only have a diameter of about 32 miles. Stars and Planets The constellations in the night sky would look massively different if the Earth was flat. Because of the Earth's rotation, people all over the world can see constellations and star configurations differently. But if the world was flat, this would be impossible. We would all be looking up at the exact same unchanging star pattern. Aristotle even noted in his travels that star configurations were different in different parts of the world. On a flat planet, it would be geometrically impossible to see the two completely different skies rotating around the different poles, the way that we do now. And in addition, it's unlikely that we would be the only non-spherical planet in the solar system. Gravity pulls cosmic gas, dust, and rocks together to form planets. But if we assume that gravity works differently in this scenario, it makes sense that there would be other flat planets as well. It stands to the absurd flat Earth reason that if our planet is flat, our view of the solar system would be completely different than the one we are used to. In fact, it seems most likely that due to the gravitational rules we're assuming exist now, all the other planets would be disc-shaped as well. Weight We tend to think of our weight as the little number that pops up on a scale when we step on it. But what that scale is actually measuring is your gravitational pull. That's why if you leave Earth, your weight will be different, because the moon has less mass than Earth. You would weigh less on the moon than you do standing here on our planet. We know that on Earth, no matter where you travel, you're going to weigh exactly the same, because you're going to have the same amount of gravity weighing on you. But if the Earth was flat, your weight would actually vary depending on where on the planet you were standing. We told you earlier that you would end up tilted to the side if you tried to walk to the edge of the Earth on a flat planet. Well, that's because gravity would be pulling you so much harder, meaning you'd weigh more. Two people that weigh the same when standing next to each other could come up with entirely different numbers if one stood on the scale at the center of Earth and one stood on a scale at the horizon. Social aspect. One important aspect of the Earth being flat would be the societal impact. For years, flat earthers have claimed that photo evidence, our government, and even NASA are not to be trusted. Since we have seen so much photographic evidence of a round Earth produced by NASA, this would have massive ramifications if it somehow proved out to be true. We would know that they had been lying to us, and other countries would know about their lies as well. This could very well end up causing a war. So much of our scientific knowledge is based around ideas on how gravity operates and the fact that the Earth is round. We would be forced to painstakingly question pretty much every discovery ever made up until this point in time. It would mean that so many phenomena that we have witnessed, like stars streaking across the sky and the lunar cycles of the moon, are all some giant cosmic misunderstanding on our parts. This would send the scientific community into absolute turmoil. We would also need to send explorers out to examine the ice wall, 
and find out more about it and if global warming was having any effect on it. Thankfully, there is absolutely not a single doubt in our minds that the Earth is a sphere. But it's fun to think about the pandemonium that might ensue if it was found that this wasn't true, or to imagine what it would be like to live on a flat planet. We think we'll continue being content with the planet that we were given. If you're interested in learning more about the incredible world we live on, the Hub has plenty more videos that will take you deep into the oceans and to the farthest reaches of our planet. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.